fields and my cell phone goes off and it's, it's her so I hike up over the hill and I answer real quietly and I hike down over the other side of the hill where I could talk a little more quietly and she tells me she's in the hospital and I'm like oh no I'm coming home I'll be I'll be home I'll get on the next flight she said no 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 absolutely not you are not coming home you stay there you get a buck for me so she said that they thought she had asthmatic pneumonia and they thought that she had congestive heart failure well I didn't go home because she begged me not to, but when I did get home, I rushed to the hospital and they still thought that she, you know, had just uh, congestive heart failure. They left her out of the hospital a few days later. I went down to see her every day. I drove an hour and a half every day to see her and um, she got a little better. She seemed like she was up and moving around a little bit. She had to be on oxygen. Um, and then it came to Christmas Day. She was so bound and determined that she wanted to come to my house for Christmas dinner. So she made it there, but I had to help her up the steps. Two steps, I had to help her up the steps. She almost started crying because she said, I'm gonna cry, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. Okay, okay.